asking me for the iTunes 10.5, but that's alright. That's alright. There it is. It's my iPhone. No more connect to iTunes messages. In fact, I'm just going to decord this thing right now. No more connect to iTunes messages, baby. Just slide to setup. Isn't that beautiful? So let's go ahead and slide to setup. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just like, almost like you're installing OS 10 for the first time. All these different languages you have. Wow. That's amazing. Okay. Let's choose English. Let's go for it. <clears throat> you can choose your country or your region. Of course, you can show all the many countries and regions. Tons of different ones here. Okay. Choose a network. Well, wow. you can choose your Wi-Fi network right from the get-go, which makes sense since you're not connecting to iTunes to activate. So I'm going to go ahead and put my network credentials in here. Give me one second. All right, so now it's activating my iPhone. There it is. So you can set up from a, as a new iPhone, restore from iCloud backup, or restore from iTunes. That's awesome, man. So you actually back up your, your iPhone in the cloud. So no more computer needed, literally. I mean, they weren't joking when they were saying that you no longer needed a computer. And look, I'm activated, just like that. So I'm going to set this one up as a new one. Okay, now it's asking for your Apple ID. So your Apple ID is just your normal iTunes ID. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, log in with there. Give me one second again. Sorry about this. All right, so now it's saying set up iCloud. All right, so store context, calendars, photos, music, books, apps, and more in the cloud and access them on all your devices. iCloud is on. You can turn the toggle off. Turn it on. Notice the new toggles. Those look very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and keep it on there. Okay, if you misplace your... Man, this, this interface is bad, man. Everything's just integrated. Well, it looks awesome, man. If you misplace your iPhone, Find My iPhone can help you find it on the map. Play a sound or display a message. Okay, let's keep that on. Okay, diagnostics, don't send diagnostics. Thank you. Let's start using the iPhone. Folks, that is easy, man. That is much better. That's This is crushing, literally, this is crushing everything, man. This is crushing iOS 4.3. It's just so much better. It's ridiculous. And look how the new music app, you get the new video app, makes everything the same as far as your iPod Touch and the iPhone now. Everything's kind of the same. No more iPod app just for the iPhone, which makes sense. So, folks, that's the installation process for iOS 5. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to come back with more videos delving deeper into Apple's latest version of iOS. So, check back for more details. But let me know what you think about the installation process. How do you like that now? How do you like the new... PC, oops, sorry. How do you like the new PC free version of iOS? I love it. I think it's awesome. So, no doubt you can tell I'm excited, but I really am hyped about this.